Step 1. Layout. Before construction of the comfort block wall, ensure that all wall dimensions conform with the block dimensions to reduce gapping and cutting. All steel reinforcement should be located according to engineering recommendations before the base course is constructed. Step 2. Preparing a base course. The preparation of the base course is the most critical stage of building with the comfort block system. Before beginning construction, all coursing requirements should be considered. Coursing blocks made with comfort block units should be used in the base course. When laying the first course, standard mortar may be used to overcome any excessive variation in foundation levels. This should be used between the foundation and the first course of comfort block units. Block layers must ensure that the base course is level horizontally along and across each block and that there are no steps between each block. Once the block layers have the base course leveled, the highly engineered blocks combined with good craftsmanship will ensure that the walls are plumb and of consistent high quality. Step 3. Mixing the mortar. Comfort block mortar has been tested specifically for the comfort block system. A single 50-pound bag of comfort block mortar mixed with water will lay approximately 200 blocks when applied with a roller. The mortar may be mixed in small quantities near the work area, which reduces the need for job site forklifts, noisy cement mixers, and storage of bulk sand. Step 4. Mortar Rolling Technique A special roller has been designed for use with the comfort block system. The roller is fast and easy to use. It provides an even spread of mortar along the block wall, reduces waste, and limits skin exposed to any activated cement. Pour the required amount of comfort block mortar into the roller and roll it along the wall. Optional gluing technique. An optional mortar adhesive to glue the blocks together is also available to construct the comfort block wall system. Due to the precision of the comfort block wall system, the wall remains level during the entire construction, so all that is needed is adhesive to glue them together. A special adhesive specifically developed for gluing masonry products together is available from Comfort Block. Step 5. Laying the blocks. Once the base course has been prepared, laying Comfort Block units is a simple process. Once a layer of mortar has been applied, lay the blocks next to each other using the interlocking design. The block should be positioned and struck with a mallet to ensure that the blocks are seated correctly. The accuracy of the comfort block units, combined with the correct standards of workmanship, ensures the walls are vertically level. Where string lines are used, they're for range only. The level is maintained due to the accuracy of material and good craftsmanship. The comfort block system incorporates a place to insert line pins for such a purpose. Step 6. Cutting Comfort Blocks Mechanical cutting is recommended when cutting comfort block units. The block cutter can use water suppressed disc cutters, chop saws, or appropriate bench cutting saws. Step 7. Grouting. Grouting the comfort block wall should be done when the wall is no higher than 7 courses. Horizontal grouting may be done as required on any course necessary. Steel may be laid into the lowered web locations to ensure that grout covers the steel properly. Corners must be cut to ensure steel intersects with the vertical grout. It is recommended that concrete sand be used for grout as it flows better and has additional strength. However, mortar sand may be used if that is what is available on the job site.